Aloha and welcome to Jonathan's Tarot. This is Jonathan. I just want to welcome all my new subscribers. And uh, today is a special treat because this is the unboxing, as you can see from the title, the Le Tarot de Marseille. Wait, um, it is a French tarot deck and it was like, I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but luckily a, f a friend in the community uh, show me this website, Emmanuel. Where is the actual name? It's Emmanuel something, I forget. It's lemoltsclefs.com. And, um, cool thing is, I haven't seen this with anyone else's deck. I got this cool little two of pentacles magnet. So, um, this is a cool little deck. I mean, I can't exactly read the back to you because I don't know. If I mean, I took one semester of French in high school and didn't do so well because I took Spanish. I knew Spanish before. Um, but this is a cool deck that is a mix of the traditional Marseille with, um, like, Marseille majors. And the minors are based more on the way... Ooh, that's a nice box, actually. Nice hardback. And it feels like um, linen, a linen finish at the top there. So, oh, that is so nice, actually. I did not know that it came with its own little bag. That's pretty awesome. So, and then, you know, obviously it comes with a little book that I probably will not be able to ever use unless I use Google. Um, translate because the whole thing is in French. Uh, let's see, and there is 31 total total 31 pages total. Um, and they do have two spreads in the back which is kind of cool. Huh. I'll have to try and translate these because these I'm, I'm always a stickler for are a sucker for um, good decks, right? Ooh, this is a nice cardstock. Okay, let's get this paper off of here. So, this is the backs. And there is a slight gloss to it. It's not too bad though, it's mostly matte. And even though it is. Um, feels a little thin. It's not like super thin. I think it's just the right thinness for a good um, riffle shuffle. So the mat for the fool. Let's just jump right in here. So obviously it's kind of like a cross between the Marseille fool and the RWS fool. There's no cliff here. Oh, this is not an order. Oh, maybe I should pause this and put these in order first. I think I'll do that. I'm going to pause this, put these in order, and I'll be right back. Okay, that wasn't actually too bad. They weren't totally out of order, just the majors were for some reason. Um, so, yeah, like I said, here's the pool. Le Batiar are the... Magician, the juggler. That's interesting that it's opposite of what you usually think of in RWS. Usually it's this hand raised and this hand down. The papers. The Empress. I love how she has like that little bare foot sticking out. That's kind of a nice touch actually. The Emperor. I always like to see these guys next to each other. He's facing her, she's facing us. Which I always find interesting. The Pope. The Hierophant. Very traditional Marseille lovers. 
choosing between what was it? I think it's supposed to be the, his mother and his lover or something like that. The chariot. And I've always find it interesting that the horses are like, they have no back legs, right? They are part of the chariot. And like the wheels are not what you think of as wheels because they're, yeah, I mean, that's the, <laughs> they wouldn't work that way, would they? Um, I always find it interesting how different little art forms changes the way things look. Well, here's strength. Um, so this is definitely a weight system since strength is here at 8. But you got the Marseille look. And instead of the infinity symbol you get the hat which matches the magician's hat. So that's, that's cool. The hermit. Wheel of Fortune. Well, that's interesting. Justice is not blindfolded here, but also has that one naked foot out, just like the, the Empress. Which I find intriguing. Oh, the Hanged Man has coins falling out of his pockets. That's a Marseille touch for sure. That's much more of a Marseille death. Temperance. Oh, that's interesting. That's actually very much a, a weight style devil, isn't it? The Yods. That's interesting because I'm not sure what those are. Those little flashes are yods, but I'm not sure what the are those wheels. What are those? Hmm. That reminds me of the RWS, as does this one. My goodness, that's a big cross station. <laughs> Oh, that, that is a Marseille sun. So, and that wall is supposed to be like the barrier between you and the outside world, etc. So, and there's more yods. And more yods. And finally, le, le monde, the world. Here we have our wands, batons. One thing I love about the, the two of wands in the RWS is that you see one is bolted down, the other one is free. So it's that whole dichotomy between do I stay or do I go? And it's got the globe, so. I like this style of artwork because it's very Marseille, but you get the Totally get the, the Rider Waite Smith visual um, cues, right? Definitely a very beautiful deck. Sorry, I think I just got texted. Uh, seven, eight, oh, excuse me, I don't know where the hiccups came from. It's definitely a perfect blend of Marseille and Rider Waite Smith, isn't it? I don't know why I still put Rider in there, that was just the original publisher. Waite Smith, Smith Waite, as some people call it. The Ballet de Botons instead of Page. The Knight, Chevalier. 
Verena and Roy. I like to take it that way. No, no black cat here though, which is interesting. I thought there was always a black cat to represent Bast. Oh, now we have our cups. This is a very beautiful deck. I can't wait to really like start using it. That's a great three of cups. I love that. Oh, and the cups don't have the little filigrees. Is that? Oh, okay, so the wands have these little symbols in the corners. That's interesting. take on it. It just normally you'd see the two children in the town square and this looks more like they're in like the castle gardens or something, especially with the two men at arms marching along. So and she almost looks like I know they're just supposed to be children, but it almost looks like she's pregnant. I don't know. Interesting. They took out the little skull for that cup. Although the dragon looks like it's reaching for the hand there. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting eight of cups. I actually quite like it. I love that moon. Nine of cups. That's interesting. Normally you see in the eight of cups, like five lined up with three here and like one like one gap, right? And here the gap is in the nine, not necessarily the eight. So that's just interesting little detail. Oh, I love this Ten of Cups. This is a gorgeous deck. I'm glad, so glad I was able to get a copy. Hopefully they reprint it for those of you who are still looking for it. Crossing the waters, that's interesting. <laughs> it's funny how often they look a little surprised to be where they are. <laughs> I guess he doesn't look surprised. So let's see. They're facing away from each other or they're facing towards each other. So I think with this deck, I'll be more of like, um, obviously, I'm going to read it like an RWS, but there's still going to be more of that. Marseille style, like what direction are the people looking in, kind of thing. Oh, see, the swords have these guys. Those little corner filigrees. So I guess the wands and the swords get these. Because I didn't see any in the cups at all. And I guess this one kind of has it, but most of them yeah, do not have it. But these guys do for sure. That's interesting. It's really a beautiful deck. I'm just wanting to go through quickly. Oh, look, you can actually see that there's something going on in the background. There is something going on in the background in the traditional RWS, but most people miss the little skirmish that's happening in this corner. So it's interesting that they have it here. But this is that a skirmish? I guess it is. It almost looks like a, like a country fair almost, but it it is a war camp. I guess that guy has got two axes. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, that's interesting. It's almost like her headpiece is the thing binding her, which is a nice touch. Nightmare card. Oh, and they got rid of the... Sorry, I didn't finish this sentence. They got rid of the little motifs of the um, roses and lilies and uh, astrological signs. Just plain blanket. Ten, oh, they actually have a sun coming up there, which is cool. I like that. Always darkest before the dawn, right? There's the page or the valet. Oh, interesting. Rushing that way. Normally he's rushing that way. No, oh, no butterflies. Interesting. I love these blues. The greens are gorgeous too. This has a nice feel to it. It's smooth, it's matte. I mean, there's a little bit of shine, but it's not glossy. Oh, and here we go. I'd love it if they came out with a deck about that size. That'd be a great little mini deck. Yeah, see, and then so the cups and the coins don't have the little corner motifs like the rest do. It's a nice cardstock though. It's not like any I've ever really. I don't know. I don't. I can't think of any that feel like this. Just smooth and I'm trying to think. No, I don't think I've. I don't have any other decks that have that same feel. It's like flexible but stiff at the same time. I like it. Interesting that it almost looks like a monk right here. There's like a texture to the front here. That are these linen? I think these are linen, aren't they? But it's not like a linen I've felt before. These just they have their own feel. This is a gorgeous nine of pentacles. I love this card. This is one of my favorite cards, actually. It's the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is one of those, you know, you always have like a handful of cards you look for in each deck to see if you actually want to work with the deck. This really is a beautiful, beautiful deck. Let me see how well it shuffles. Oh, that is a joy to shuffle. And even though the cards do feel like they're not super thick, that is a 
Oh, that's a pretty chunky deck there, isn't it? So. Overhand shuffling is a, it's a great shuffler. I have a feeling it's going to end up being one of my favorite decks, which is funny considering I wasn't sure if I wanted it until I couldn't find it. And then I hear like jumped online and one of the community members gave me the link to order it myself. <laughs> Perfect card. Alright, Four of Cups. This is one of those like, here I am looking at the decks I already got going, why do I need any more decks? And here's someone offering me another deck and I'm like, but why do I need more decks? And yet, here I am with a new deck, so happy to have it. So I finally did take that cup. <laughs> So that, my dears, is the Tarot, Le Tarot de Marseille Wait. And I didn't realize it came with its own bag. That's awesome, actually. And it's just a great little deck. Oh, that bag's just a little too small for that deck. Oh well. <laughs> just make sure that it'll actually fit in the box, right? Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments, do you have this deck? Do you use it often? Um, what do you think? Are you going to get it if you don't have it? Um, if you don't have it, like I said, this was the... Yeah, let me hold it up a little closer. That was the website I used to get it. And um, it was the newer edition that came with the magnet, which I guess... Are not newer edition, newer printing. They came with the magnet, and um, I'm happy. Actually, this I'll probably put this on my fridge. Um, so yeah, this is a great, great deck, and I look forward to actually sitting down, reading with it, and just having a good time. So let me know what you think about the deck in the comments. Um, are you more of a Marseille reader, a Waitsmith reader? Or do you like both? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many times can I say yeah? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, aloha.